What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. And guys, today we're going to go over the market just a tad bit. It's not going to be a long video. It's probably going to be like five minutes long. Um, as you guys do know, 2K to release some things on the triple threat, and we're going to go over that. Um, before we get in this video, if you guys could please sub it up, please comment down below. It'd be very, very appreciated, man. We're on the road of 14,000 subs. More likes, more comments, all that good stuff would be appreciated, and have a chance of winning at the giveaway. So make sure to do all that stuff. Um, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. If you guys need MT, I buy and sell MT. Um, if you need MT on Xbox or PS4, just hit me up. I'll explain the process to you. And yeah. Um, so yeah, if you need MT, make sure to hit me up. Anyways, let's go over its content. Um, we got new triple threat updates. We have a Rob Strickland and a Purvis Short. Not the most favorite players. They're actually kind of like the token market players we had last year. Um, so here we go. Single player triple threat. Um, Purvis Short Diamond. Stats are decent. I don't know if it's really worth the grind or the chance, to be honest with you guys. And then triple threat online. We have a chance at Rob Strickland. Not worth it at all, in my opinion. I think these rewards are absolutely trash. Um, that's just how I feel. Like, literally, I think these rewards are so bad, it's not worth playing at all. So, hey, if you want to do what 2K does, if you want to try to go for the rewards, go ahead. I'd rather grind the market and make MT because, literally, that Purvis Short Diamond is equivalent to, like, a Julius Randle Power Forward Amethyst or, like, a Giannis. So, like, literally, it's like a 10 to 15, 20K card, you know? It's up to you. It's a diamond. We're already up to pink diamonds. So, in my opinion, the chances of you actually getting that card are low. And I just don't think it's worth the grind whatsoever. Hey, that's my opinion. I want to hear what you guys think. But look at the pink diamonds. These pink diamonds, some of them are really going for a lot of MC. Uh, let's go over them. Let's see what's going on. Looks like MB. Looks like Curry. That other dude that I can't pronounce his name. Or I forgot his name. The guy with the mask. I forgot his name. Like, Doll. I don't even remember his name. But, yo, the market is really, really high right now. If you did invest in anything I told you to invest in, you should most definitely 110% million times sell your cards as soon as possible. Um, that is just what you should do. You should really, really sell your cards. Like, you just have to sell your cards before it's too late. Um, so pretty much everything you invest in, if you want to make MT, just sell your investments. If you listen to me, you make MT. Um, ooh, Rishwano's for 19K. He doesn't have the best stats. Never mind. Just keep your eyes out there. Did we get moments today? Oh, today's Monday. So, we did get moments. We got Kyle Lowry. We got Rashawn Holmes. Um, we got Ricky. Yeah, Ricky Rubio. Dig off. Cole Anthony, my guy. Jordan Poole. Mike Muscala. Tyler Harrow. Uh, Tyler Harrow's not moments. Wow. Jordan Poole. Cole Anthony. Let's go over this Cole Anthony because I'm a very, very big fan. This guy's an absolute dog. Cole Anthony. Wow. Absolute dog, dude. This guy is so good right now. His stats are incredible. Besides his defense. <coughs> I guess we'll pop a couple packs. 21,000 MT for Mr. Cole Anthony. That's really good. This, this Cole Anthony is like really good in value. Let's pop some packs. Frig it. Let's throw up two packs. Let's see what's going on. Get a little Cole Anthony. I'll be pretty hyped. We'll see. We just need a little Cole Anthony action. I'll take a pink diamond. I'll take an amethyst. I'll take a diamond. I just want some MC back, man. These packs have been brutal, man. Some brutal ass packs of Ruby right there. We got Tyler Hurl and Brooke Lopez. Now who we're looking for. We'll pop like three more. And then we'll just go over to market a little bit more. These packs have been really cheeks. Can we at least get one Amethyst and Cole Anthony? We got a Bradley Beal right there. I have him already. Come on. Give me Cole Anthony. Please bless us up. Last pack. You know what we'll pop. We, we got to get one glow. One glow and we're chilling. One glow and I'll be happy. One shaky shaky. One glow. I want Cole Anthony. I want to try him out. Oh my goodness. These pack odds stink, dude. All right, we're going to end it off that. So there goes more MT. As you guys can tell, guys, pack odds are so bad in this game. It's insane. They're they're just so duty. The worst pack odds ever. So now here's what's going to happen. Dime Filter is going to fall because of Rashawn Holmes. They made this card terrible. I mean, his three is not the best. His defense is absolutely atrocious. There's nothing good about this card. So now you're going to see the diamonds fall. The mid-range is crazy at 89. The close range, he's good in the post. But, like, defensive-wise, absolute cheeks. Like, he can't really, I don't know. He's just going to, he's like a center, but he's a short center. He's like 6'9", 6'10". He's just not going to be the best player. And honestly, his price is going to ruin the diamond market. 
I guess that was what 2K wanted to do. I think Cole Anthony should be a diamond over Rashawn Holmes because Cole Anthony has been balling out. He's literally been a top five point guard this year, stats wise and everything wise. And I think he's the GOAT. So I don't know. They should have made Cole Anthony diamond over Rashawn Holmes. Right now, the market's in shambles. Um, you're going to see a little tiny market crash. And honestly, I think you should snipe the diamond filter and the Addis filter. I think there's going to be a ton of ton of snipes in the Addis and diamond filter. But yo, um, that's just what I think. I want to hear what you guys think down below. I really think the Amethyst and the Diamond Filter is going to be very, very solid today. Very, very solid today. But, yo. Oh, give me that. Ah, we missed it. That's a good snipe, too, I think. Nah, probably not. Um, but, yo, other than that, that's all we got for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Have a good one. Peace.